Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let's see how to solve this given question. Here, basically, we are given a curve and we are given a straight line. Basically, uh, I'm going to I'm going to homogenize this curve with respect to the straight line and solve it. And ultimately, I'll be I'll be getting an equation of a pair of straight lines. Okay. With that, I'm going to show that. Uh, okay. Let me just uh, come to that point and then I'll explain. The, that pair of straight lines, I need to show that they are perpendicular. Okay? That's my only job. Now let's, uh, the curve and the straight line, I've kept it at every slide so that you can refer to it at any point of time. Now, let's get started. Uh, the given straight line is, given straight line is, given straight line is, x minus y minus root 2 is equal to 0. Now, what you need to do is send the constant to the RHS. Okay? Send the constant to the RHS. So, x minus y is equal to root 2. This was one part. Now, uh, bring this constant to the LHS in the power. Now, uh, bring it as a division form. Like, x minus y by root 2 is equal to 1. Since I brought this root 2 here, so I will left out with one in the RHS. Okay. Now this is my one. This is my mark. This as equation one. Okay. Now next, the given curve is given curve is given curve is that one you can see at the top of the slide. X square minus x y plus y square plus three x plus three y minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. This is my given equation. This I'm going to mark given curve. This I'm marking 2. Now, what I'm going to do is homogenizing homogenizing okay, homogenizing 1 with the help of 2 with the help of 2. Fine. Homogenizing 1 with the help of 2. Okay. Now after this, let's get started. x square, given equation, I'm writing it again. x square minus xy plus y square plus 3x into 1. Why I'm writing, I'll explain. Plus 3y into 1 minus 2 into 1 whole square is equal to 0. Now, why I'm writing this and all, I'll explain. Now, see, what is the degree of x square? It's 2. Okay, x has power 2. So, basically, degree of this first term is 2. Likewise, degree of x is 1, degree of y is 1. So, the degree of x, y is nothing but 1 plus 1, which is 2. So, this one's degree is also 2. Likewise, degree of y square is 2. But if you observe it, if you observe, the degree of 3x, the degree of 3x, it's nothing but 1. It's 1 because it's x power 1. So, the degree of this term 3x is 1. So, that's why I want its degree to become like what I'm in the homogenization. In homogenization, what we would do is we would make sure that all the terms get a degree of 2. That's why this needs another one more degree. So, that I need one more degree needs to be added to this so that I can get second degree here also, second degree term. Likewise, 3y into 1, okay, 3y into 1. So, this one, uh, uh, the degree of 3y, the degree of y is 1. So basically, I need one more thing, okay, so that I can make it uh, make it a degree of two. That how I'm going to do? I'll show you. Next, this is a constant. The degree of constant is uh, is zero. So I need a degree of two here also. For that, I need to add. I I need to add a degree of two to this. For that, I'm multiplying it by one square. Okay. Now, what am I going to replace this one with? I'm going to replace this one with x minus y by root x minus y by root two. So this would be nothing but x square minus x y plus y square plus 3x into x minus y by root 2 plus 3y into x minus y by root 2 minus 2 into x minus y by root 2 whole square is equal to 0. So, you see, now 
the now if i'll multiply this this terms degree will be 2 this terms degree will also be 2 and this terms degree will also be 2 basically all the i have only second degree terms in my entire equation so this is what i wanted with my homogenization now next next now simplification is there so stay focused with me this is nothing but x square minus xy plus y square plus uh multiply this 3x here what i'd get is 3x into x is nothing but 3x square so here i'd get 3x square and 3x into minus y is minus 3xy minus 3xy by root 2 okay this divided by root 2. this root 2 will be there next now likewise this 3y into x is nothing but plus 3xy actually 3y x i'm writing it as 3xy next 3y into minus y so i'd get minus 3y square minus 3y square divided by root 2 now here here what i'm going to do is i'm going to write it as minus 2 into x minus y whole square divided by root 2 whole square what is root 2 whole square nothing but 2 so here i'd get 2 equal to 0 now this 2 and this 2 would get cancelled now if you'll observe in these two terms in these two terms the denominator is root 2 so i can basically perform uh, addition between these two terms let's go ahead so the first three terms will remain as it is what i'd get is x square minus xy plus y square If I'll take LCM, so I get three x square minus three x y. So there, it will become a common denominator. Three x square minus three x y plus three x y plus three x y minus three y square minus three y square. As I mentioned, this root two is nothing but denominator for all these four terms. This root two is a denominator for all these two, all these four terms. and also i have this 2 and this 2 would get cancelled minus of x minus y whole square minus of i'm writing it here because there's no space minus of x minus y whole square equal to 0 next now here minus 3xy plus 3xy would get cancelled i will be left out with 3x square minus 3y square by root 2 and next the first three terms as it is i'm writing x square minus xy plus y square Plus three x square minus three y square by root two. Okay, and expand this x minus y whole square, like a minus b whole square. So what I'd get minus of x square plus y square minus two x y is equal to zero. Okay, now let me continue. Keep it as it is. Just simplify the last one. My x square minus x y plus y square plus three x square minus three y square by root two. Okay, it would be better if there is a bracket to this. This minus would get multiplied to these three terms. So what I'd get is minus x square minus y square plus two x y is equal to Zero. Okay, this is what I have. Now x square and minus x square will get cancelled. Y square and minus y square will get cancelled. Minus x y plus two x y. So basically, what is two x y minus x y? It's just x y, right? So I am left out with just x y. So ultimately, I am left out with three x square minus three y square by root two plus x y is equal to zero. Okay. Now next. Uh, okay, now let me just take LCM, and that would that should wrap up this. If I'll take LCM, I'll get three x square. Okay, I'll just write it in the next page so that it would be a bit more better. I'll write it in the next slide. So if I'll take LCM, what I'm left out with is three x square minus three y square plus root two x y. By root two is equal to zero. 
So send this root to here. So zero into root two is nothing but zero. So what I'd get is three x square. I'm rearranging it a bit. Bit till uh, I'm I'm rearranging uh, this a little. Sorry. Right. Three x square plus root two x y minus three y square equal to zero minus three y square equal to zero. Okay. Now next. Uh, if I'll compare this with a x square plus, if I'll compare with, okay, compare with, compare with a x square plus two h x y plus b y square is equal to zero. Then what I'd get a is three, two h is root two, and b is minus three. What I'd get is a is equal to three. 2h is equal to root 2, and b is equal to minus 3. Okay, now next. Now I'm going to find out the angle between the lines. Okay, so cos theta. This is small c. Okay, cos theta is nothing but mod a plus b by root of a minus b whole square plus 4h square. Okay, 4h is nothing but 2h square. Okay, so what I'd get is mod 3 minus 3. Since a is three and b is minus three, by under root three minus of minus three whole square plus four uh, h square is nothing but two h whole square. So basically root two whole square. But don't bother about all this this denominator because three minus three is what zero. So ultimately zero by anything is zero. So this would be ultimately nothing but cos theta is zero. What does this mean? Cos theta is zero means The angle between the lines is the angle between the pair of lines. Since cos theta equal to zero, the angle between the pair of lines is 90 degrees. That means they are mutually perpendicular. Since cos theta, since angle between the lines is, since angle between the lines is 90 degrees. Okay, here you could write implies theta equal to pi by two, which is equal to 90 degrees. See if you if if you'll just look at look back at the question, they are asking to prove that. Whatever the pair of straight lines which we will get after homogenization, we need to show that they are mutually perpendicular. If the angle between the pair of straight lines is 90 degrees. That means that they are mutually perpendicular. So, since since theta is equal to 90 degrees, the pair of straight lines are the pair of straight lines. Are mutually perpendicular. Are mutually perpendicular. That's it. You see, now I could show that the given pair, pair of straight lines means this pair of straight lines. What I obtained, they are mutually perpendicular. Now that's it. Not just this question. I made other questions also related to pair of straight lines. uh you can check out the description for other questions i will keep the link for the playlist there and not just that if you like this video solution please hit the like button it will encourage me to make many more of such videos and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it once again i'm akash i completed my btech from nit raurkela in the year 2020 currently i'm a mathematics thank you